What's up everybody, it is your place here bringing us today a brand new video and guys today I'm going to show you how to get impregnated by the reaper queen It's actually not that hard The only thing is that when people get impatient or come ill prepared You know they fuck up and then the whole process that they just went through is all for naught So I'm going to try to show you guys how not to be so impatient and how to do things correctly And then you'll basically have a reaper of your very own so let's get started all right so you guys i say approximately you need a 350 arrows give or take because you know you can miss you can fuck up she can end up dying you have to redo it so it's just a whole matter of getting everything you need you know just aim for the head though because the head does a thousand damage a hit now this item right here is by far the most important item you're gonna need alongside the shield and the radiation suit given the fact that this is actually what weakens her kind of imagine like a, a starship having a shield you're basically taking down this force field with this because you're gonna have to set it on high intensity and just point it at her i'd recommend you bring more than one now this is the trap that i came up with the trap itself is just basically kind of like a u-shape but i may have over exaggerated a bit with how many gates i used you can probably shorten it down to maybe like nine nine gates probably given the fact that you're gonna need two to close her in now guys, obviously for video's sake I spawned her in, but I'm just going to show you how the trap works. You just run and don't actually hesitate within running because this bitch is fast. Now, once you get her in the middle, she'll actually start biting the gate and not even focus on you. Mind you, she cannot destroy stone dinosaur gates, so you're fine. Just kind of like getting close and block her in with like two of them. I was kind of scared obviously because I didn't know if since I was at like kind of an angle, if she could like slip out of the top, so I kind of put three but you probably just need two to be honest. Now, for the sake of the video guys, I know you won't be able to use this, you're gonna have to use a magnifying glass, but I'm gonna use the super spy glass just to show you guys the amount of damage difference between a body shot and a actual head shot. You're gonna notice how sometimes the bullets don't even do anything cause like you might miss and you might hit the dinosaur frame when you think you're hitting her. But notice that, it does maybe like a thousand damage a hit, yeah. And actually when she launches her missiles, all you gotta do is just look up. Now, this is the most important part. You're gonna walk up to her with your shield and she's just gonna grab you hopefully but you have to have the charge lantern turned off sometimes though guys and i'm sorry to say this the game is fucked she might hit you right after that either break your armor or kill you and the baby's basically dead so make sure that you're healed up don't go anywhere do not even move make a little base and just sit your ass there for a while because i wouldn't i personally would not fucking risk getting my dinosaur my baby killed because i want to be a smart ass and just hurry up patience guys is key because if your radiation shoot dies you're basically dead and the baby's dead like one radiation hit will destroy your baby the maximum number of exp actually though is 52,500 with 75 levels being the max all right guys so this is the cell that i made for myself it was a six foundation base with two walls high and ceilings Although guys, remember, this video is just showing you my knowledge of the subject. If you find an easier way to trap your baby inside, by all means, feel free and go ahead. But this is how it worked for me. Because obviously when this baby is born, guys, it's going to shoot out of your chest. It's just going to blast out. And I personally did not want to risk the baby glitching out with this glitchy ass game and then getting out. So, but don't forget guys that it's 15 hours, not 12 minutes. The 12 minutes that I showed was just because I wanted to speed it up for the video. All right, so you're gonna need to get Reaper pheromone glands guys. They're actually what protect you from the baby once it's born. It's actually kind of cool because it's looking for mama basically and it doesn't see you as mama, it sees you as food. So don't forget that guys. Also, please don't forget, do not have your tames around this guy at all as a baby because he will keep on chomping at them until they're dead. But now notice this though, you're gonna need a shit ton of meat. All right guys, so this is just for building purposes, like in case you wanna have like a nursery and stuff for him. He can escape through one wall high as a juvenile. Just so you know, it's like an added benefit to figure out like how do you wanna build around him? Or when do you think you should take him out? Now guys, this is what they look like once they're fully grown. This man is a beast. All right, so this is the spit command guys. It's actually the right click. Once you click right click, it actually has a reticle that you can use to aim and stuff. But I'm just showing you like the different like positions that it looks like once it's coming at you from the side, from behind. Like it's super damn cool. It's kind of, it's basically the same process as the dragon's breath. The dragon's breath is little right click. You know the normal chomps is left click and whatnot. But this is the cool part. The C button actually does a tailspin, which I'm pretty sure bashes back any enemies and stuff like that. Now mind you guys, remember this process is hard guys. Please don't underestimate this process. You're gonna need a lot of materials. You cannot take this endeavor on unless if you're ready. 
now guys hope you enjoyed the video and i hope this lets you get a reaper of your very own hope you guys are starting off your new year's right and now guys i'll catch you in the next video Bye bye Kimi